hello everyone welcome back again into this video as you can see i have a database so i will ask DeepSeek to create a user form right to enter data to this user form as you can see here in visual basic there is nothing all right so first of all go to DeepSeek. open browser then go to DeepSeek. all right now i will ask it to create create user form excel for this database dots go back to excel copy the header and then paste the header here okay create user form excel for this database then add buttons save search edit and delete add also list view with header and grid lines all right so i think it's all create user form excel for database add four buttons save search edit delete save search edit delete add also this view with header and grid lines if and I want to search by ID if found show data in each field to edit or delete then send your message to DeepSeek wait in few seconds as you can see DeepSeek generates the code waiting to finish okay conclusion so let's apply so first of all we have to 
okay we have database as database name all right then place alt f11 to open vb editor go to excel then go to developer visual basic or alt f11 right then go to insert user form with the user form and so how many text box that we need one two three four five six seven seven text box okay i think there is no combo box yes one two three four five six seven okay go back to excel in the tall box go to text box insert one duplicate it two three four five six seven okay go to border style okay then I will insert a list view let's make it a little bigger okay then what we need how many buttons I think we have four okay by this way one two three and four okay now let's name each text box we have txt id go to excel first one then second one we have txt name then txt departments Last one is hard date. Okay, now let's add label in here. Add border. And then after I will this in the sublet. Go to fonts. Okay, now let's duplicate this one. Okay, we have ID, go to caption, ID, then we have name. then we have address email department then salary and 
then her dates okay now select labels go to back style and choose transparent go to border style none then go to font to adjust all okay like this then make it a little smaller okay now let's change the background go to user form then user form then any color by the way this one okay this one no problem okay now as you can see there is our application let's change each button okay we have by the way bit and save first of all I, uh, I will copy this for user form copy double click then paste the code here okay as you can see we have database as name of data sheets and the same name go back then bt in save let's copy this one go to user form and save the same way save then we have search search between search search and delete btn edits double click Deletes. Then copy the name. Go back to user form. Delete and delete. Let's adjust the buttons. Go to font. Okay, choose a color for each button. Go to back color, search, okay, what else? Okay, this one. Okay. 
Oke. Okay. Okay. Go back to this view. Adjust. Okay, we need to adjust the column for high dates. High dates, okay. Double click, high dates, and okay. One Eric user. Eric email dot com which are thousands one one twenty five save okay Let's adjust the text box. Select all to center all data in text box. Go to font first of all, then choose times new and OK. Go to text align and choose center. OK, now everything is OK. To change the name for user phone, choose user phone, then go to caption data entry, for example. Then, okay, okay, that's all for today. If you found this uh, video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and see you in the next video.